guys welcome to the vlog sorry about the lighting it's very blue right now ben and i are going on a camping trip this weekend just over friday night saturday night and then we're coming home on sunday right now it's thursday evening we're getting things ready to go we have to go pick up some stuff at the store i actually just got back from the grocery store we're gonna go to walmart after this but i got a couple food items i got some firewood and i need to get some more food items and drinks and stuff like that so that's what we're getting ready to do and then when we come back i'm gonna start packing our stuff up like i said it's gonna be just over the weekend we're going to a state park that's near us so it's not very far and we're going to be camping in a tent which normally historically let's say i did not like camping in tents i've done it a couple of times before once with my friends actually at the same campground that we're going to when i was in high school and it stormed like the whole time and i hated it because it was storming and we were just like a bunch of girls out there by ourselves and i didn't feel safe i did not like the whole thing so i didn't have a good experience with camping in a tent there and then i camped in a tent again when i went to bonnaroo when i had just graduated from college so that was like almost 10 years ago <laughs> that was also a horrible experience because bonnaroo is in the middle of a freaking field in tennessee in the middle of the summer when it's like 100 degrees so it was miserable being at a tent then but at the beginning of this summer ben and i went camping in a tent at the same place that we are going to this time I got all the tent stuff because I thought it would be a fun like gift for Ben's birthday to get the camping stuff and go camping because he had talked about camping in a tent before and we never did it and we did it for a weekend and we both really enjoyed it. I surprisingly liked camping in the tent although to be fair we didn't have any inclement wet weather and it wasn't really that hot. It was warm during the day. But at night it was pretty cool and I even had like a coat on top of my sweatshirt. So I'm hoping that the weather is going to be okay again this weekend. It's supposed to rain on and off a little bit, but I think we should be fine. That's what's going on this weekend. Come along with us for our camping trip. We are at the great store of Walmart now. <laughs> That's where we're going to get all our stuff. I don't think we have enough stuff in here. What do you guys think? It is Friday now and we are in the car. Everything is packed and we're getting ready to leave to go to the campground. Ben has the gas grill in his lap. So yeah, we're pretty packed to the brim in here as you can see behind us. But yeah, we are on our way. It's about 6.15 right now and um, hopefully it doesn't keep raining because it has been raining on and off today. So we'll see what happens. quietly because it's very quiet here but we set up our campsite it's very dark so it's hard to see Ben's making some hot dogs on the fire there's our tent our picnic table and there is the fire Here we are, got our hot dogs, got some Doritos. <laughs> We're in our tent now and there's bees in here. So Ben's trying to summon them out. It's almost out. 
Yeah, it's too bad there's three of them in there. Three? <gasps> yeah, there's still one on the ceiling. are making coffee now. Ben's making his pour over coffee. I made a half and half of this Columbia coffee and decaf coffee. And we have some um, coffee cake muffins in this box that we're going to eat. I got my fall like cup from Starbucks. And there we go. The leaves are somewhat changing and somewhat rustling around. And that's our view from our tent. Here's the coffee cake muffin. My coffee. I put some pumpkin spice creamer in it. <laughs> and here we are. And there is our tent. Looking real cute. Ben's making another pour over coffee now. These things we were first introduced to. I feel like I sounded like I was drunk then, but I'm just tired. <laughs> we were first introduced to them when we stayed at the getaway cabin that you can rent. Um, you've probably seen them on Instagram and stuff like that. But I didn't know they were a thing, but they just took on to the side so you drink. There's coffee beans in there ground up and you basically just pour water over it and it comes out of that filter. It's a pretty nifty invention. All right, I got my makeup on. Well, first I washed my face. I don't know if I mentioned there's like a public bathroom here. So that's nice because you have a toilet, there's showers in there, sinks. But wash my face, brush my teeth, put my makeup on, did my hair. And now we're out on the trail going for a walk. Ben did some relaxing while I was doing all that. Mm -hmm. I have my new peanut shirt on for Halloween that I got at, <laughs> I feel like I was just showing my boobs. I got at Abercrombie. It's pretty cute and pretty festive. But yeah, <laughs> that's what we're doing. Anything to add, Ben? No. Are you happy we went camping? Because we were kind of last night feeling like we shouldn't have gone camping because we're in the middle of renovating our house, as I was saying. And no. I feel like we should just be doing that all the time. Now it's worth it. Today. Tonight was a lot of work. Yesterday was a lot of work, you yeah. mean? Or last night. Yeah. yeah. But that's where we're at. It's breakfast, but it's really brunch because it's like the afternoon. It's like noon, yeah. Here's our little setup. I feel like the bacon isn't sizzling enough. <laughs> Maybe it's higher heat or a cupboard. Yeah, let's turn the heat up. Good in there. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I forgot a spatula, so Ben made a makeshift spatula for me. And we're about to see how it works. Hmm. What? It's fine to me. We'll see what happens. Here is the breakfast we made and a fly that just went by. Time to eat it. Alright, we ate our breakfast. 
it was pretty good, but last time we went out camping, I made the breakfast on the fire instead of on that little grill. And oh my god, a leaf just fell on me. I thought it was a bird. Um, and I thought it was better when you make it on the fire. So, I don't know. I think it depends whether or not you have a fire ready to make your breakfast, really. And how much you care about it tasting better. But that's my review of that. Now we're just sitting here and has the fire going and we're kind of just looking at the lake doing some relaxing. It started to drizzle a little bit so I'm back in the tent. Ben's still out there but I didn't want to get wet and it's supposed to start raining harder and yeah I didn't want to get caught in it. So I'm laying in the tent in our bed and I'm reading a book called Unbound by Tarana Burke and this book came out a couple of years ago and I bought it when it first came out but I never got to reading it. It's been sitting on my nightstand. I haven't read it so I'm finally reading it. I also actually got it on Audible. I just recently got Audible and have been listening to her read it on there which is really nice because I like her voice. I like it better when I listen to her read it because it's a memoir. I'm actually reading the physical book now but before I just listened to it. So yeah, that's what I'm up to in here. It's later on now. The rain has stopped. And we're in the process of making dinner, which is steak, corn on the cob, and baked potatoes. So far, we have the potatoes on the fire wrapped in foil. And we're getting ready to turn them. And then we'll put the steak on and the corn on the cob. Here is the situation. There's the corn on the cob. Can you see my finger? No. There's the corn on the cob and the steak covered in butter, salt and pepper, and I think that's it. Pretty simple. Corn is on, the pan is heating up. We're really cooking. Wow. Ben said the key to the steaks is putting this foil on top of it so it cooks the whole way through. Granted, we did put some pretty uh, fat steaks on there. So I don't know if this applies to all steaks, but if you have a fat steak, that's a helpful tip. <laughs> In his hand, he has, I can't believe it's not butter, <laughs> but he continually sprays on the steaks. Another tip. The steaks have been flipped, but there's a lot of smoke going on. <laughs> okay. They look great. Now the corn has to be flipped. This is the finished product. The steak looks pretty good. Ben just took a bite. How was it? Good stuff? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna put some sour cream on my potato. But other than that, we're good to go. I'm making a s'more now. I have this stick that I got from the floor. Go. We're seeing the motions. It's gonna take a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it fell. At least I have one more left. Okay, I think it's done. Here is. I'm gonna show my snow. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's turning into a disaster. Here we go. S'more is. Mm. <laughs> hey, 
everything about camping is fun. Until you get in that bed. <laughs> Truth. Truth. Ben just put the last log on of the night. The fire is dwindling. What time is it? 10. It's 10 o'clock. The camping is almost over. I can't believe it. Let's get a couple of shots. Um, like of the campfire oh. site. I was like, no way. Not like actual alcoholic shots. Here's our shot of the fireside. Also, these lights. Can you see my finger? These lights I got on Amazon. I think they were only like $16 or something for two strands, which is a pretty good deal. In my opinion, they're battery operated and I just connected them to one end of a tree over there and then the pole that's already at our campsite. And we got the fire here. Ben sitting there. Our candle there. And there is our tent. Again, I have the same strand that I got on Amazon. And our tent is actually... I feel like I didn't talk about our tent, but um, it's extremely easy to set up. It only takes like five minutes to set up. It's the Coleman Instant Cabin Tent. And I think it's a six person tent, but really it only fits two people, if we're being honest. And yeah, would you say it's easy to set up? It takes more like 45 minutes though. What? You have to do the tent stakes. You have to go the around. The stakes and everything, but to get yeah, the physical the tent up off of the ground takes like less than five minutes. It is pretty instant and I would recommend it. And also we got the rain fly to put on top of it because the rain fly is a separate purchase. We didn't have that last time we went camping and I feel like the one night it drizzled a little bit and it got a little bit wet in our tent last time. But this time it rained on and off last night and it did not get wet in there at all. And then it rained again today on and off and it didn't get wet in there. So I think that tent is pretty good actually when you have the rain fly option. What do you think? Agreed. Ben doesn't care. But yeah, that's my update. The camping is dwindling down, but we're still enjoying it. Anything else to add? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that stick looks a little bit eerie. The way it's just coming out of the fire. <laughs> what? I don't like that. If you ever, it creeps me out. If you ever get super popular, there's one day there's going to be like a t-shirt. It's just going to have my face on it. It just says, nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything to add? Nope. <laughs> Ben is conducting a seance. We should have brought a Ouija board. No. <laughs> it never moves when I do it. It's because you don't believe. You're it's not a true it believer. Work. <laughs> it's not because I don't believe. I give it every opportunity. It's because I don't move. You're it. not a believer. If you don't believe, it doesn't work. Wait, ben is making. Where's your corn at? It's in the cold. Right there. She's making another ear of corn. I don't see it in this camera. It's in there somewhere. Is that it? Yeah, that must be it. Yeah, right there. He's making an ear of corn. Because he really enjoyed it. Wow, it is hard to see. Yeah, it just blends in. Okay, here's the corn situation. What are you going to do with that? Spray some, I can't believe it's not butter on it? Mm -hmm. Put some salt and pepper on it? Mm -hmm. That's about it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> eat it. It's starting to drizzle again out here too, yeah, so. I, I think it's going to stop though. It's not showing up on my radar. So you got that charring. Ooh, that's good. Mm-hmm. That looks pretty good. Oh, I smell it too. 
smells good. That one side. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be delicious. Question is, is it too hot to eat? I don't think so. Can I touch it? Definitely not. <laughs> what? Do you think it's too hot? It's too hot to eat. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. But too hot to eat. But too hot to eat. <laughs> it smells kind of like popped popcorn. It's like a popcorn flavor. But you don't corn. like popcorn. But I don't like popcorn because it's popcorn. Like the, the eating of the popcorn. The flavor's fine. It's like... You don't the like popcorn, the texture? Yeah, the texture is weird and like... Hmm. It's like cotton candy almost. Like where it like dissolves. Okay. I can see that. You get stuck in your teeth. You look really creepy in this video. <laughs> I hate popcorn. <laughs> your light is only open a tiny bit. I hate popcorn. Oh my god. What I do love is charred corn with butter. It's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> it's not? I can't believe it. <laughs> ben and I are walking to the bathroom now our bathroom visit before we go to bed. <laughs> Here we are. We have arrived. We are also going on a night walk to take this garbage to the garbage can. To the garbage bin. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you call that thing. The dumpster. garbage. The dumpster. This looks a little bit Blair Witch Project-y. A little bit freaky. There's my light. We have arrived at the trash bin. The dumpster, as Ben calls it. Success. Well, we're in our tent now, about to go to bed. Here is what is going on. We have our little clip-on light up there. Here's the tent. Ben's outside of the cupboards right now because he's too hot. We have the windows closed for privacy reasons, but we have a little bit opened to get some air in because it's a little bit warm right now. How would you rate your camping experience so far? I mean, it's basically over. 10 out of 10, Saturday. 10 out of 10? Wow. I'm not sure I would give it 10 out of 10. In order to be 10 out of 10, it would have had to not rain today. Other than that, it was pretty good. Anything else you wanna add? Nope. <laughs> Any messages you wanna give to your future self when you go camping? Nope. Bring a spatula or a cooking utensil next time so that you can turn over your items when you're cooking. I forgot that this time. That's about it. See you tomorrow morning. It is the next day now and we're getting ready to leave because we woke up and it's just nonstop raining. So I'm packing everything up now and we're gonna head on out. say is thank god we have a home to go to <laughs> hi guys
guys, it's later on now and I'm editing this video and realized I never actually ended the video. And also the video kind of ended on a little bit of a sour note because like I said, we woke up that day and it was just raining nonstop. Plus we had to load all our stuff back into the car. So we had to be outside in the rain. Everything was all wet when we were trying to put it away. So it was a little bit of a frustrating end to the camping trip, but the camping trip itself was nice. I mean, it was a short lived trip. It was really only one full day, but that one day that we got was nice and we enjoyed it. But that just goes to show you the weather can really make or break your trip in a tent because <laughs> you are just out there in the elements and when it's raining, you're in that rain. You're in that rain until it stops. So <laughs> yeah, we enjoyed our trip. I don't regret taking it and it was a fun time. But yes, <laughs> I did just want to end this video here and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.